Hey guys, welcome to our Raya and the Last Dragon review. Uh, this one is by uh, Walt Disney Animation Studios, not Pixar. I thought it was Pixar at first, but no. Uh, and that makes sense uh, because ultimately my expectations were up here and the film came in way below that. Um, <laughs> I am sad to report that I disliked this film. I was not engaged. Have you ever watched a film where, like, every single character you either didn't care about or hated <laughs> or disliked, um, you know, and and then it just just didn't work for you? That was this, this film was for me. For okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I kept thinking to myself that maybe it would it is a Pixar film, and I would go through some of the things that what and I even wrote wrote a note here. Well, like, what makes a good Pixar film? Is it an amazing visuals? Is it fantastic and deep characters? Uh, characters. Is it a great, <laughs> fresh but familiar story? Yeah, this film has none of that. It does have all right visuals, some good visuals yeah, it was here, very, it was very some pretty. some interesting uh, character designs as well. But that cannot carry a film on its own. And I'm glad to hear that this is not a Pixar film uh, because I would have said this is amongst the worst Pixar films I've seen. Uh, so it, it really, really disappointed me. And uh, keep in mind, Disney's up to their old, old tricks here. They are charging you $30, $29.99 to watch this on March 5th. In addition... To your subscription service. So not only are you paying monthly, but you're also going to pay 30 freaking dollars for this steaming pile of uh, undercooked and uh, trite if steaming, crap. <laughs> steaming. If it's steaming, it's, it's probably cooked, but maybe. I mean, <laughs> I mean no, Jake, no, you can undercook. Look, no. You can undercook rice, Alex, <laughs> and Russ. You can, under, you can steam rice and undercook it. So that's what happened here. little undercooked rice. What do you guys think of Raya and the Last Dragon? Well, I'm glad uh, Disney stopped. Well, it's actually taking a little break from doing live action and actually doing something else besides live action. Well, this is the animation studio, Joe, so that's all they do. Well, yeah, but I'm saying like before. Instead of Mulan, it's the last of one. Mulan. That remember, remember you Mulan? Trash yeah. and, and Lion King that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Jungle Book. Yeah. And all right, right. right. <laughs> I was like, hey, let's do Redoing all their classics yeah. in live action. Oh, Beauty but, and the Beast. Yeah. Uh, you like the fact that I, it's original. For, uh, I wouldn't say original, but it was something new. Um, it was okay for me. It wasn't. I was kind of annoyed with some of these characters. Oh yeah. I did like the animation and some of the song or the music they had in the background, but mm -hmm. other than that, some of these characters are pretty forgettable and um, it just you wasn't with me there. And was the disappointed. Heart wasn't, yeah, it just wasn't there for me. Yeah. So. I had zero Especially expectations. For the price. Oh yeah, thirty bucks. Yeah. yeah, I had no expectations whatsoever, and I was still slightly disappointed by it. Not not hugely disappointed, but slightly disappointed yeah. by it. And I think you nailed it on the head. There there are characters in this movie that they're trying to set up redemption arcs. Yep. And if you start a character in so deep of a pit that mm -hmm. they're unlikable, they make stupid fucking decisions. They're nasty to each other. You end up rooting for the apocalypse in this movie. If you're anything <laughs> yes. like me, I, you're I like, heard this guy. He's like, I want all these people. To these die. are all well. Bad. You're like, oh, we gotta save the world. It's like all of these people <laughs> suck. Yeah. There's there's women. Uh, there's a woman who is feeding people to demons. Uh, it's like you give me this information, or I'm gonna <laughs> kill you. And it's like we're supposed to root for her at the end of the movie. It's just like she's evil. Yeah, she never even shows she, up at the end. She's they in kept the, her ass out. She's in. She's in the end. She walks across really? the bridge. She's Get there. The hell out of no, here. I didn't see her. She's there. So it's like fuck that lady. We set up. We set these. We'll things talk up. about that in spoilers. So th this this movie seems slightly off. There's a little bit too much humor in certain situations that don't, that doesn't make sense. There's yeah. too like there's a con artist ninja thief baby that doesn't yes. belong in a Disney movie. It's like yes. a DreamWorks movie. You you know it's so cheap because you love. I love the baby character by the way. Okay, yeah. I can't help it. But they know that, oh, so yeah. let they're just like, mm, man, what should we do? Oh, let's just make the baby the whole character. Let's yeah. make the baby the character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? No. Does it does it <laughs> have Celeste any logic? Dragon. No. Yeah. She acts like an adult. No. Yeah. She just has the baby talk. But goddamn it, it's cute. Okay, I it's like the cute. baby. Don't talk yeah. shit about the baby. But the the humor seems off when they're trying to press. Ninja it's baby. Like, we, like we need we need to trust each other. It's like, look, you've said that yes. forty five times already. I'm tired. This How film was about trusting each and other and repetition. And it and swimming? the here's yeah. the thing. About swimming? The moral here sucks ass. 
This film does not fuck. It, it's awful. It doesn't teach you anything. It had okay? a great they tried to people. teach you about trusting each other, mm -hmm. but in this situation, and we'll talk more in spoilers, they're basically forced to trust each other. And then, and then the, 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 you see it coming from a mile away. It's predictable. It's trite, okay? The very definition of trite, the very definition of the writers trying way too hard. And, and, and uh, what do you call it? Um, just the same tropes over and over. It's basically Disney trying to pretend to be Pixar and you can tell that there is a disconnect here and that uh, the, the, ca the characters, they're paper thin. They literally learn nothing. Maybe one character learns something. And, and that character probably didn't even deserve it. So the movie's about yeah. trust, and every single time they trusted someone in this movie, they get, li they get either literally but, backstabbed. I mean, I and that all gets swept that's the under the rug. Yeah. That's the message I got. Trust fucking no one. Yeah, yeah trust <laughs> nobody. Since, and, no and one. you know, they just keep trusting, keep trusting. Well, you know what? The first fucking time you're betrayed, you could fucking die or yes. and, and you could they have did. died they in did. this film they died in this film but yet they keep telling oh no don't worry they're good people inside <laughs> keep trusting no this film and i was and like i said i went through part of it because i looked it up as i was watching thinking it's a pixar film i said something's wrong here right because <laughs> pixar knows how to deal with you know uh, he knows how to make a, a film that's uh pleasing for children but yet I ha address some more adult themes and address it in a smart way mm -hmm. with some great dialogue. And this film had none of that. None of that. It had good visuals here and there, uh, some funny characters, but they were like, you know, characters that are like ramped up to 11 to get it to that silliness factor, right? Um, and ultimately, uh, the whole point of the film is is just is awful, and I don't want to say what happens at the end. We'll do that in the spoilers. It's a Disney movie. Uh, All of the people. <laughs> <everyone> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a Disney yeah. movie. It is ridiculously predictable. Yeah, it's yes. like, do you think there's mass genocide in Armageddon at the end of the Disney uh, movie? Disney has done. So, well, I'm not going to get into it, but they have done some things that have surprised me in the Mufasa past. Died. This movie is not going to do that. So let's go ahead and. They didn't write that movie. They stole that <laughs> story from a Japanese movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know. Hey, let me, let's talk a little bit more about uh, some of the characters, though. Um, the main character, Raya. Right. Uh, you you know, uh, she's voiced Cora. by Kelly uh, Tran. Oh, what's her name? Kelly Mary Tran. Kelly Mary Tran uh, yeah. from Star, Rose. Star Wars. Rose <laughs> from Star Wars: The Last Jedi. And believe it or not, I was like, why did they have her do it? Is it like is it Disney's apology to her We're for Star sorry. Wars fans? But I but as I was going along, I was I was like, is she a good voice actress? I was like, damn, yes. she's good voice actress. She's good voice she sounds younger. She's she's got the bubbliness that that a, that a Disney character usually needs, and I, I just she melted away into her character, mm -hmm. and I I thought she did a fantastic job. I would love to see uh, her do more voice acting because I thought that she was great uh, in that role. Now the Raya character. Uh, itself is not a very interesting character. They don't really give her much. It's just kind of going through things. She trusts nobody. Yeah. That's, her, that's her character. And she's yep. super good at kung fu, and uh, it's very important that she protect the last remaining gem in this world, where all the last, you know, the title of the film, The Last Dragons, put all their power into this gem. And uh, to, to wish away the... the shadowy purple people, the, the, the drone or something. Yeah. Uh, which eventually, you know, the world shattered and, and, and it sucks. The world sucks now and everybody's broken into different factions and all these factions want the gem. Everybody wants the fucking gem. So, what, uh, so one faction has the gem and Raya is the guardian of the gem and what do they fucking do? They, they put two guards with the gem, her father and her and her father's half the time is nowhere near the gem. <laughs> But she's a gem, and they invite all of the goddamn kingdoms to the fucking gem. And, Trust them. And, and then they, <laughs> they show up, and they start talking shit immediately. Well, they're and, a fire nation And attack, they're, and they're that's, mean that's... as fuck. And what do they do? They still post no guards. It's as if this kingdom has no goddamn standing army, no Man, nothing, <laughs> just one little girl to protect the gem. And she knows a little bit of kung fu, okay? Mm -hmm. And it was dumb as fuck, because guess what happens? Yes, and then <laughs> so the gem is, you know, whatever. 
and uh, and stolen, and they have to go on this big adventure in order to get the gem back. And uh, and then that's when uh, we get the other main character, Sisu, which is the last dragon um, in the title. And I hate to say it, guys, but I just could not stand Sisu. Sisu's no, voice say, but with you. was so annoying. She's I wanted Sisu to stop talking the nope. whole time. Yeah, it wasn't it was the like voice the acting for me. It was <coughs> the things that the that jokes. she was saying, the, yes, the jokes, was the a, lines. Yeah, addition. I just want to say that it's like it's not Aquafina's fault that it's not that she did a poor job. I, mean, I, I don't. Aquafina is the. the I kid. love Aquafina. Those are good waters. Okay, well, <laughs> she's a, she's uh, her she's name's a, Aquafina. Yeah, her. She's a comedian. She's oh been no, in a bunch of, terrible raspy voice. Like she smokes way too much. I could not stand her voice. I know I'm going to get in trouble for it, but I do not want. I just her didn't as, like it because of the I jokes. Shut up. And I was telling Alex, sure. I was like, they're just trying to be. Those like, were bad uh, too. It was trying to be like Mushu. It was yeah, it was low rent Mushu. Yeah. Yes. That's what it was. It's exactly what it was. Yeah. Low rent Mushu, which sounded even more annoying, and yeah. not, not annoying on purpose. It's just annoying. They just force her to say the same things over and over. She she reminds you how good she is at swimming seven times in the beginning of the movie, and then but she she's goes, so silly. But yeah. it's like a modern silliness that doesn't really fit the time period. Maybe we're yeah. just not seven, and maybe that's the problem is that we're not seven. That's no, what I was thinking no, too. Because like, we can review it from our I, I, our age, well, so which is what our audience is our age, yeah. and they're like, is this film going to be good enough? Because there are films that are animated films that are just I like still the subject. Watch <laughs> Mulan. They're amazing. Not the live action one, yeah. but like I still love those yeah, original yeah, yeah. Disney movies. I I grew up on Disney, and I still to this day exactly. love the majority of the movies that they've made. Well, yeah. they don't do that shit and, no and more. And they clearly are not doing that shit anymore. <laughs> and look, this isn't terrible. If you've got kids no. and they're like, "Give me, spend $30 on me, Ooh. and then you're going to have to watch this, you're not going to be miserable. Yeah. It's just not... We no, know what they I, can I, I do. I thought it was miserable, so I'm probably going to be rough on it. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I just, we know what they can do, and they just didn't do it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, they're right that it's good for kids. You sit a kid in front of this, and I that game, oh, oh, look at the dragon. They might like the dragon. Oh, pretty colors. They might like the pretty colors, <laughs> yeah. the brightness to it. I will say the dragon dancing, where the dragons are able to sort of uh, dance on the water as it rains, and that's their way of kind of like flying, even though I think they can fly on their own. They don't need it, but it's just cool. It looks cool. It looks interesting, but uh, other than that, just not very good. It's basically a, the video, a video game movie where they go to each level, which is each nation, sort of like a generic uh, rip-off airbender kind of thing, where it's like, oh, here's the I got the a lot spy of Avatar vibes from this. So she's even dressed up as Korra in the beginning, where yeah. I'm like, you're saying, that's Korra. <laughs> And there's a you know fire nation. Oh, I mean Talon nation, and yeah. there they are. They are our ultimate enemies, and we're gonna let them come into the gem room because hey, we're idiots. <laughs> Anyways, so the story was uh, predictable, annoying. The characters were not likable. There was a few that were all right, but not enough to save the film. And then throughout the whole thing, everybody was doing stupid shit, and. Uh, and then it wraps up in a Disney way, and ta-da! And ultimately, nobody really learns anything from it. No, and we uh, learned that trust is important. Nah, trust. Yeah. You got trust. Let's go. Not the first 30 times that you trusted somebody. <laughs> and it sucks, because we watched this early. We got a, a screener from it. And I think the last screener, we, we also trashed on it. And I, I surprised we saw it. It is not our fault that they're making bad Please movies. make something good. We want to praise it from the rooftops. Well, I want to tell people, WandaVision. this one's worth 30 bucks, right? Right, WandaVision, yes. Your Disney Plus subscription is worth it, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as paying this early access additional cost in order to get Raya, <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> okay. Wait until it's free because apparently uh, it's on premiere access, premiere. but will eventually uh, be going free. Yeah, um, just wait till it's free. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Or not free, but with, with your, your subscription, subscription yeah, yeah, price. Included. I don't see a. Uh, I think that's very clever of them not to say when it will be. Uh, at least I can't find it right now. Let's go final verdicts. Final verdicts for me, I can't validate the price point on this, so I would say probably wait for the wait for it till it's free. Mm -hmm. um, the story, like you said, was paper thin. These characters, super paper thin. Yeah, these characters were kind of forgettable. Nothing really to ho grasp onto to like like the characters. Mm -hmm. And like I like said before, like some like in the beginning, like you hate this person. Their arc doesn't really fully develop for me to like them. 
the entire time I'm just like, yeah. no, this person too much piece to of redeem. Shit. Yeah, yeah, this this person's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just <sighs> see, it's, what is it? The dragon. Uh huh. Sisu. Sisu. Annoying at times. The joke should have been better, but. It's going to be a five for me. Mm-hmm. Like, these people show their true colors. They're all garbage people. Not talk. Well, okay. Yeah, go. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll get there. No, for the most part, yeah. yeah. These people, like, show their true colors whenever crisis. They don't band together. Mm-hmm. They don't really do much to kind of, like, make me feel like, right. all right, this is a good. We didn't do jack shit no, except for the like, baby. The baby did everything. Yeah, exactly. The whole film, right? Could have done jack shit and they could have just sent the fucking baby out and won. Everyone was pretty much like, oh, it's. I'm on my own. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah. That baby was 10 That's out of 10 skills. That was about it. So 11 out of 10 skills. It's a 5 for me. It's okay, an average five. Seven. Wait. Uh, well, I found it real quick. Uh, Alex, Ryan the Last Dragon will be available to all Disney Plus users on June 4th at no additional June cost. 4th. Okay. Um, this is this is a movie of hit, hit and misses for me because there was sub, a couple characters that I thought that they did okay. Tong, he's the the big yeah. burly dude, and originally he's like rough. He's you know he's like a you know big ruffian dude, and you find out that he lost his whole family, and he's really not. And he's really a cream puff type, type person, and that is a character like that was done pretty well, well right? Mm-hmm. Um, Cece, I don't think was done pretty well. I didn't like the main character. Mm-hmm. I didn't like the main bad guy. I uh, the baby is whatever. The baby's funny and it's cute, but it didn't fit. <laughs> it was. It the felt like it. Off. It felt like it needed to be in a DreamWorks animation movie. Okay. You know, it's like a different kind of tone than this kind yeah, of movie. You're right. Um, and I like the kid on the boat. So there's a couple characters that like work. The issue is the characters that I thought that they did well on were kind of pushed in the back, and the ones that I didn't like were in there the entire time. And again, they just started these characters. They're like, we're going to do a redemption thing. The world is crap. The world is crap because no one trusts each other. We're going to get to the point where everyone trusts each other and everyone's good. It's like nothing that we have did from here to here makes, makes me, it. pulls you out of that <laughs> pit of shit that you came from. In the redemption arc, you did not do enough to redeem yourself. Mm-hmm. You, the message was bad. Again, this is another one of the Disney movies where their message is bad because they're... It's just trust each other. It's like you showed me over and over and over. Every time anyone in this movie trusted anyone, they got screwed over because it's a fish and out of water. And then magic. Store. And then yeah. everybody's friends. Sisu, that is not cool. Yeah, Sisu's like, no, we got to trust. And Sisu trusts people and then gets almost murdered, almost kidnapped, getting trapped in <laughs> something else. And then <laughs> they finally go, liar. well, Armageddon is here. I guess we got to trust each other because there's literally no other choice. And it worked. Last resort. <laughs> babies. It's great for babies. Uh, so what you ready? The, I'm going to give this a four. I think this is a below average yes. Disney film. So mm-hmm. I'm going to give it a four. I'm with you there. It's uh, stupid. Uh, it's trite. It's ridiculously predictable. And you're right. Uh, I do want to make clear that I did write here the characters I like. I will, I will say I like the baby, the cook, the warrior, which is that, that Tong, one guy. Tong, yeah. Tong. And the roly-poly. Uh, tuck, tuck. Adorable. Tuck, tuck. Uh, adorable. He the little little roly poly when he was younger, and then big roly. Oh, what about the then. fart beetles? Those are cool, right? Because farts yeah, are look, hilarious. Tuck, tuck, that's who it was. Yeah, yeah. Alan Tudyk's tuck, tuck. That's tuck, why. Tuck. <laughs> yeah, for fun for the. Uh, uh, but they were fun for the barely bits they were yeah. there, right? They didn't, you know, they didn't really have a. Uh, this plan where they executed it together and the warrior didn't get to be a warrior is basically just the baby did everything because the baby and the monkeys. The, we got to use his charm. We got to use the charm. Mm-hmm. The thief does everything and it just, yeah. So anyways, uh, like Alex said, I'm going to go with a four out of ten on this one. Uh, I, I think the you know they're trying to go to do a good message to trust people, but they executed it poorly. Yeah. Did the hand wave at the end? They use sex machina, and boom, we're done. And and so for and this is one of those films as an adult, as a young teen or something like that, you're gonna be like, nah, you know, is this Pixar? No, it's not Pixar. Uh, and you're like, mm, okay, maybe. Uh, it's fine for that level, uh, cause, but I just wish they could uh, start, aspire to be a little bit better than that. So that's how it is, guys. Uh, definitely not worth the $30. Wait until June 4th, 2020. Save your money. Put that $30 towards, I don't know, uh, some video games, some good good stuff. See 2020? 2021. Sorry. Yeah. What? Back what? in time. <laughs> Go back Go in back. time. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Uh, stick with us in the spoiler yes. section where we get into exactly why uh, it is dumb. Okay? All right. See you all on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys.
Okay, welcome to the spoiler section. No one dies. Spoilers. No, no. Well, yeah, okay, well, he, someone dies. Question. They do a fake out. I had a little question. Go ahead. Though. All right. Look, Sisu it's, dies. It's been like six years. Everyone turns to stone. You're telling me not one gets like their arm like kind of like bumps into, uh, like their head falls yeah, somebody off. Somebody dies. They're reanimated. Period. Nope. Like they're dead, dead. Magic. <laughs> Everybody in the fucking, you know, thing uh, comes back. There's no lessons. No. Everyone gets their lost loved ones back. Well, you know what? Life isn't that simple. Okay? And to, to pretend that it is for little children is actually probably harmful for them. And I remember when Pixar used to tell more complex stories. And this is when I thought it was Pixar. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is uh, just a terrible, terrible goal. Everyone's goals are the same. And, you know, in the film. Just to be an asshole to yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah. Just, to, just to get the gem. Why do you want the gem? So that we could have the power of the dragons. Because remember, the dragons uh, would, would would ward off all the evil. Well, here's a dragon. Why don't you just show everybody the fucking dragon? The dragon's here to ward off the evil. Everybody would come together. But Everyone no, they, they hide intentions. the dragon. They hide the dragon. Because why? Because, I don't know, everybody will be a jerk to it. Yeah, well, now I believe it. Because everybody is a fucking jerk in the goddamn film. And it's just so stupid. Yeah, um, to expand on what I was saying before, everyone was showing their true colors. The grandma was, like, killing people. <laughs> and, like, those people that got reanimated, I would have punched her. When it's yeah. like, you left me out here to die. Ex oh, Fuck that's you. right. Fuck, Fuck you, that, and, and now suddenly and now everybody's everyone's friends. Like, oh, we love her. It's like, right? no, no. She killed, like, maybe dozens of people. <laughs> everybody's friends in the end. it off. <laughs> so all these tribes come, and they're all fucking jerks, and they all fucking start a goddamn mini war in the goddamn thing. And then they leave, and the, the <laughs> people of that tribe, they just remember that. They don't remember all the different little things with the baby yeah. character. They weren't there for none of that shit. And then they come back at the end of the film, and everybody's friends. They're all mixed together because it's all mixed. Lady. No, you fucking saw <laughs> well, the Fang, the Fang tribe was going to capture the dragon yeah. and hold the entire world hostage and say, like, no, our people will be safe. Because we can't know. bring back the world because everyone will be mad at us. So fuck everyone. And then the lady gets turned to stone, and then she comes back, and she's like, no, I'm friends uh, with And we so, never hear from that uh, the mom again. She shows up at the end. At but the end? She, but she doesn't no, say no, anything. No, 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 she say anything. She yeah. can't say anything. So yeah. again, they do the stupid Tina's trick by someone she thought was a friend. Cue the betrayal music. Over, you know, uh, The dad needlessly sacrifices himself. Cue the sad music. Uh, you know, it's His like wounds the are healed, by the way. He just needed to he keep running. He, he was looking at first, and then they, yeah. Okay. Seriously, just needed to keep <laughs> running. Um, <laughs> Roly Poly dude, uh, Tuk Tuk is creative and cute. Uh, world has potential. The world has potential. That's what I like. Yes, if the not a bit last Ender Airbender is generic. Um, <gasps> and she cries at 24 minutes into the film, and I felt nothing. You know, it's bad when your character's crying and you're just like. She's an asshole. She's a dumb. Up? She's a. She makes dumb decisions, and she's an asshole. Like, why would I care that you're? <laughs> why? Why is she an asshole? The main character? Yeah. What, what was the asshole thing she did? Everything in the movie. She just purposely <laughs> doesn't trust anyone. She tries to hide the dragon. Well, she was a, right, ultimately, right? Yeah. So in your world, she was the one no doing one. the right thing. Um, and so, and I was like, oh my God, they're going to be friends. So they pit the, the two girls against each other. I'm like, they're going to be friends in the end. I like, hurry this fucking yeah. shit up. They're going to be friends. And yep, uh, they're, they're going to be friends again. They, she betrays her, and then she betrays her again later on, and then she doesn't betray her. They put all the gems. After the gem, so basically they come in, they break the gem, because the fucking what is it Talon the one Fang. that Fang. Fang Fang is the the super evil one so they come in and they break it and then all the other tribes come and grab the pieces and like god damn it get your fucking asses out but of here but when they broke the gem it released all the uh, the, the demons mm -hmm. the demons came back mm -hmm. and that and so the, the whole film is them collecting the individual pieces and finding characters uh, to join them along their journey it seems like it's like Perfect on paper. It's so generic on paper, but it just it doesn't really work. Uh, uh, so the the um, hmm the con baby and the monkeys. Uh, I mean, it's cute baby overload, but uh, you know it was a little over the top, and you can tell it was just done for that cute factor. Yeah. Um, and it's just uh, so they 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 talk so much about how Raya can change the entire world into trusting each other again, and it is. Is dumb. This doesn't work that way. This reminds me of Wonder Woman 84 is how this fucking film ends, where it's like everybody get rid of the wish to, you know, wish away the cancer in their mother or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, if they would have done something with villages, like pulling together, something like to unify them at the yeah, very fighting end, as the, opposed the to just purple those people, things together. Yeah, as opposed to just those 
at the very end, it's like, well, this is the only option we have left. Yeah, and, and, and if everybody's going to get... It didn't feel right for me. Of course everybody's going to join the fucking journey. They, weren't, they have something to gain. <laughs> like, the real shit, the real heroes is like, I have nothing to gain out of this, but I'm going to do it because it's the right thing. But no, everybody's like, I'm going to get back my lost mom. I'm going to get back my lost father. I'm going to get back my grandma. I'm going to get back my ancestors from 50 years ago. Because when, dra- when everything is fixed, not only did the dragons come back, but all the dragons come back. Not just the dragons, not just the last dragons, because there was a crew of last dragons who were fighting in the last stand against Leroy, these purple. The but the all the dragons <laughs> come back. It's like, Jesus Christ. So um, it just, mm. I don't know. It just doesn't work it, because, you know, they, they finally say, okay, Let's do Sifu's plan. Sifu's plan the whole time is uh, just give her a gift and explain that we need to save the world, right? And she'll say yes. So uh, there was, oh, that's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. Well, they finally decided to do it. They have the little baby give the note to her and give her back a little gift. It was the little uh, medallion that she gave her just to fucking trick her at the beginning. And then fuck you, man. (laughs) And then she comes up and she's like, here's the piece. I, I, I believe you guys. And then, <laughs> and then the dragon comes out from behind. It's like, don't come out until we trust her. And then once she gives the piece, the dragon comes out. And soon. then she got a crossbow. And it's way too soon, right? She pulls a crossbow. Oh, no. It was a d- how dare you and uh, then double later, cross me. <laughs> <laughs> and then later, she has the fucking balls to say that, uh, you know, let's see. What does she say to her? You're as much to blame for Sifu's death as I am. I can kind of see No, she's see not. It. Don't even, Joe. She betrayed she... the whole fucking movie is because of that one bitch. The yeah. whole fucking movie. None of that shit would have happened the first time. And then all the fucking tribes, which she has nothing to fucking do with fighting over, all the tribes coming and she's one ninja versus 500 people on each tribe and it's her fault? No. And then finally, when there's like, please trust us. All you need to do is trust the dragon, right? The dragon, even in your fucking lore, it says the dragon will will save everybody. And you're still not fucking doing it, right? It's like, oh, well, it was, my mom told me that everybody would be mad at us, so I need to take the dragon back. It's like, oh, you're pointing a fucking deadly weapon at her. It's your fault. So, but what Joe's saying is Raya is like, oh shit, I gotta she's, do something. I gotta do something. Well, yes, because she's betrayed us multiple times before. So she tries to throw her weapon and knock the fucking bow out of her hand. And of course, she it fires the, the shot. Trigger. And Sifu, and then you don't see Sifu and you hear, and you're like, ah, fucking Sifu. And then Sifu, ah, <laughs> falls in. I'm like, all right, bye. <laughs> the fuck falls in the water. All the water disappears. Because apparently the dragons are the ones responsible for the water. Keep so the then the evil day. purple things can and invade the land. And so what do they do? It's just like the very next thing, they all team up to uh, Arya's pit. So she just goes to fucking kill and beat up uh, the, the bad girl. Um, and of course, Ryder's trying too hard. It's like, when she meets the bad girl in the Emperor Throne, everybody's Spine running. And she doesn't care about her own life. She just wants to kill her. And just as she opens the door, even the bad girl has experienced loss because her mother has suddenly turned to stone. <laughs> right? It's like the most guarded fucking place and, and her mother's just in stone. And so now, now the bad girl is pissed. And so we're fighting and we have a big sword fight. It's like, oh, God damn it. Um... <laughs> Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Yeah. Th- so then everybody gets the happy scene the where they grab pieces of the gem and ward off the ward off the purple bad things. They're like, but how does that turn happen? She's got her on the ground and she's like, you're just as much a problem as I am. And then the very next scene, they're they're fighting together. So what what was it? They fall through the hole. They fall through the hole yeah. and then. Mm-hmm. And that's well, bef- it. And that that's it. They just start they start fighting warding together. each other off and fighting, fighting okay. each other off. Yeah. They. That's all it took, falling through a hole. Well, shit. And not, not, well, they didn't. The she, she's like, "Do whatever you want to me," and so she's like, "Oh, you're gonna cut your head off," and then she just walks away. That would have chopped her and then, off. And so, because be she, because <laughs> she walks away, you spare my life. Now, I guess I'm gonna help. Yes. Whatever. So, I guess. That was and then friends. they ward everybody off. Now friends. they're best friends forever. Yeah. <laughs> I was they're dragon nerds, remember? The dragon Whatever. Nerds, yeah. And so they fall. The, the earth kind of swallows up all of these people, and it looks like all of the humans on earth were dead. And I was like, please let the, the credits start to roll, because this would be the, the most <laughs> yeah, metal right. Disney thing ever. It's I like, heard. you know all these people are trash, and you don't like yes. any of them? Well, they're all dead. Purple things so they, win. They, well, then and then they fall through the hole because I think that came later because they're all warding them off, and then they fall through the hole, yeah. and then they're tra- they're they're, you know, 
trapped, yeah. and the energy is starting to run out. And so the so last thing is, is we need we don't need seafood to put these pieces back together. We just I don't know, just smash them, and the magic will work. And we just need you to trust us to do it. And then the little baby puts, Clap and then hands, the little thing the puts, and then everybody <laughs> puts it, and they all turn to stone somehow, I guess, because they're not holding a thing. Yeah. And little purple things mm-hmm. come and get them. Doesn't repel it. And so it's just the bad chick with the thing, and she's like, oh, oh we sacrificed himself. I'm going to uh, put the gem over there, and then she turns to stone. And then everything gets dark, and you know, oh, it's a, here comes the fake out, you know, and then, <laughs> oh, it's just a fake out. Everything's fine. And literally everything is fine. <laughs> literally everything. Here's the is funny fine. thing, though. Like, I was like, if I give it a stone, it's like, man, I don't trust this bitch. All right. Well, yeah. Then I turn into stone. This shit's not going to work. It's like, I still don't fucking trust her. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she turned to stone. She's a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'll take this back to my city. We'll fight the remaining ones, and that's it. No, they that's just, it. there's no water left on Earth. Cause yeah, the dragon. The dragon, the all-powerful dragon can't beat a goddamn crossbow bolt. Like, one crossbow bolt it just takes out a dragon, like the weakest mystical creature ever. turn into something else. Really but they're all back now because yes. magic, and now not only are all the dragons back, but now everyone is suddenly friends. Forget all lesson, of moral yeah. lessons. Well, for, oh, we're not, I'm no longer stone. I forgive you of your war crimes. Yeah, it's everyone, it's war crimes? No, sacrificial, you know, r- ritualistic sacrifices, and for the greater good. Nah, don't worry about it. Totally cool. Grandma's cool with us. She may she'll just make some of her soup, and we'll be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at it's good soup. Stupid. Still, uh, all right, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently they did trust they did some good no food one. in the film, right, Alex? Trust no one. Trust yeah, no one is the result of Raya and the Last Dragon, in, including and Disney. And people will show the true colors in chaos. And then stab you in the like back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Steal all your stuff. Oh, but don't trust Joe, a baby. But Disney says if you keep trusting them over and over and over, not only will things work out in the end, but everybody that is dead and gone will come back and everything will be happy. So we trusted Disney for Milan. They let us down. They trusted <laughs> Disney for Ray of the Last Dragon for $30. They let us down. Eventually, us trusting them is going to work out. And it wasn't at this time. So it did. Sometime. It did for, with Star Wars. When yeah. you put the right you, people in charge. You didn't charge. pay $30 for it. When you put the right people in charge. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. That's it for us. Thank you all yeah. so much for watching, <laughs> and we will see you, you on like the it. next If Disney Doesn't Cut Off Our Screeners. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.